Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Susana. How are you? Tired and very around. Oh. Traffic. Full traffic. Yeah, there was a lot of traffic today. Where do you live, Susana? Um, I live in Santa Ana. Oh, you live in Santa uh, Ana? Yeah. Uh, Urbanización del Milagro. Oh, okay. The Wall Street Metapan. All right. Okay. So it was full. It was crowded today. Yes. Well, that's pretty bad. And how was your day? And get up uh, in the morning to start. Uh, my daily activities, activities is a uh, routine. Yeah. Okay. Go to work, go to the gym, counsel, pure, pure patients. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Let me see, Daria Margarita. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine. Just okay. finishing dinner. All right. Bon appetit. Thank you. So how was your day? It was kind of busy doing stuff in the um, storage of the company. Oh, okay. Yeah, searching documents. All right. A lot of work. Yeah, it was like muscle work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Yes. Let's see, Frank. Good evening. Good evening, teacher, and good evening, my friends. Hey, teacher. Finally, we finally can, we can see your nice face. You were hiding <laughs> from us. Oh come on! Ah. No, it's just because I I don't want to bother you in the breakout rooms. So I feel that you are more comfortable without seeing me, even though you know I'm there, but <laughs> so that's why. But yeah, I'm always here listening uh, to you nice. and keeping an eye on you, right? So yeah. Nice. Okay, hey. how was your day? Uh, my day, uh, very busy because in, in the morning, I went to my workplace to teach our class. Ah, I have to tell you something very important. Okay. that I have a new student that he's from Taiwan. Oh. His name is, uh -huh, his name is Tsung Tinko. It's a very strange name, but, but it's, it's a nice guy. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the, in the midday, I went to, to buy some tools at uh, a hardware store, some painting, uh, electric tools, and then in the afternoon, I went to run 15 kilometers in the bypass in Santa Ana and in the highway to San Salvador. Uh -huh. And that's, that's all, teacher. Thanks, thanks for asking. All right. Nice. You had an interesting day. Yeah, yeah cool. I did. OK. 
Okay. Good morning. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Relaxing. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So you had a free day today, right? Yes. That's your own vacation. What did you do? Um, ¿Qué me pregunto? ¿Qué, qué hizo ahora? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, sleeping. Okay, just um, sleeping. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, watch TV. Um, y, y de compras. No sé. Cómo no, you went decir. shopping. Went shopping. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. yes. Okay. It sounds pretty nice, pretty relaxing, right? You had time yes. to do things you like and everything. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Alfonso Antonio, good evening. Good evening, Miss. How's everything? Good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm pretty well. <laughs> Excellent. How was your day? Um, it was well. So, so, what happened? Um, nos trasladamos a un lugar. You Entonces, moved. Yes. Uh, un poco complicado el sector. Oh, okay. Pero, yeah. Uh, lo demás, it's good. It's very good. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's great. And Jose Manuel, how are you? How are you, Miss? I'm good. I'm good, and you? Good evening. I'm fine, awesome. thank you. Okay, cool. How was your day? Um, I'm tired of day, but at a home, ready for class. Okay. Along nice. with work day. Yes. All right. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad to hear that you're good. And Cecilia, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, everybody. How's everything, Cecilia? Nice. All very good. Okay. And tell me about your day. How was it? Um a uh, normal day at work and uh, ready at home with a light dinner for the time. But okay. Well, was well, good. Okay. Fine. I'm glad to hear that you had a good one. And let me see who else. Luis Bonilla. Oh, that is. Oh, let me check. Oh, okay. So, Erika Torres. No, Erika is not listening to me. Okay, fine. So, we are going to start with today's um, session. Let me get my presentation over here. <clears throat> so, welcome everybody to our 17th session. Uh, we are in our last week, as you know, and we're almost done with the principiante number one. Let's start with a little review of the prepositions of time. What prepositions did we study? On, in, on, at. On, in, at. In, on, at. And what do you remember about them? Um. We use at for specific locations or points. Okay. And how about the others? What can you tell me? Um, in for countries, cities, neighborhood, and then closer spaces. And on for means of transport, communication, surfaces, avenues, and streets. Okay. All right, so good. <clears throat> we studied in, on, and at. So we got 
in for bigger places. For example, as you mentioned, countries, cities, neighborhood, enclosed spaces. Then we have on, which is for smaller places. That one is, for example, for streets, avenues, surfaces, means of transport and communications. And then we have at, which is for the smallest places. And in that one, we are very specific about the places we're talking about, specific locations and addresses sometimes. Okay, so let's let's make some examples as well. So the first use that we got for in is countries, right? We use in with countries. Can you yeah. tell me some examples? In, in El Salvador. In El Salvador. In Colombia. Okay, in Colombia. What else? In China. In China. You it's in Bolivia Bolivia now. Can you repeat that one? In Panama. In Panama? Do we have any other? He is, he is in Bolivia now. He is in Bolivia now. Good. Okay. We also use in four cities. Give me some examples, please. In San Salvador. In San Salvador. What else? In Santa Tecla. In Santa Tecla. In Santana. Santana. Okay, any other cities you can mention? In Liverpool. In Liverpool. Any other? In New York, for instance. We got, what else? Mention some different cities. Come on. In Wacken, Wacken, Germany. Germany, okay, good. Any other examples? In Washington. In Washington, good. Okay, and then we have neighborhoods. In Manhattan. In Manhattan. Okay, oh, let me check. Yeah, it's double T. Okay. What else? Neighborhoods, for example, mention your neighborhoods. Like In San Diego. In San Diego, okay. We can say, for example, in Barrio Las Animas, that will be another neighborhood. Do you have more examples? Colonia El Palmar. In Colonia El Palmar, good. Any other? Okay, fine. So let's move to enclosed spaces. Give me some examples about that one. In a building. Can you repeat it? In a building. In a building, okay. What else? In a car. In a car. In a taxi. In a taxi. What else? In the living room. In the living room. Any other? In a box. In a box, in a bag. What else? Think about more examples using in. In a leaf. Can you repeat it? In a lift. In a lift. Elevator, no? Yes, the lift or elevator. Good. Okay. 
Nice. Now let's talk about on. The first use for on is streets. We use on with streets. For example, on seven street. Oh. Okay. First with the streets. Give me another example, please. On Baker Street, Baker Street. Okay, on Baker Street. Okay, another one. On Oxford Street. On Oxford Street. Okay, then we also use on together with avenues. How about some examples? An Abbey Road. Abbey Road. I How think it's an avenue. Abbey Road. A B B. A B B. Okay. E. Y. Road. 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 Okay. Fine. Any Dependence. other? Independence oh, yeah. Avenue. On the 15 South Avenue. Good. 15 South Avenue. All right. Okay, next use is surfaces. Can you think of some examples on how to use on together with surfaces? On the carpet. On the floor. On the floor. The table. The table on the chair. On the, on door. the door. On the door or at the door? At the door. Yes, on the door. with that one we say at, at the door. It's more specific. Okay, good, we got some surfaces. How about means of transport? What means of on transport a plane. do we have? On a plane. Okay. On a plane. What else? On the bus. <clears throat> on the bus. Another. The car. On a ship. On a ship. Great. And the next one is communications. So what can you tell me about those? Some examples on television, on TV, on television, on the phone, on the phone, the radio, the phone, the radio. Oh, I lost that one. On the internet, on the internet, good. Let me put it over here. Okay, then we get to at. At is for addresses and also specific locations. So let's talk about addresses. What could be an example? I live at, I live at, 20, 20 Street. 20th Street. Mm -hmm. I think you have to complete the address. 20th uh, Street and the Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 20th Street and 10th, 10th Avenue. And 10th Avenue, okay. 
All right. Any other? For example, well, because here in El Salvador, directions are, I mean, addresses are kind of weird, right? They are very long and stuff, but normally in others, in other places, we would have like at four, five, six, state read, or at, let's say, seven, six, five, Maple Grove. Things like those. Okay, and then the last one is for specific locations. Oh, that color doesn't look good. Anyways, let me see. Uh -oh. well, anyways, let's talk about specific locations. At the party. At the party. Okay, so we say at the party. What else? At home. At home. And at the, at the university. At the bank, at the university, at the park. Okay, good. And let me also mention about home. That one is um, a really special place, let's say. So um, we, you can use it together with at or without preposition. So you could say something like, I'm home, I'm home with no preposition, or I'm at home. So that one can be used in both ways, with the preposition and without the preposition. Okay, so that's what we got for in, on, and at. Now let's talk about our new, oh. Wait, before we get to the new topic, let's make some example sentences. Could you give me some? Some example sentences using on, in, or at. They are on the taxi. They are. On or in a taxi? Uh, in. In a taxi. Okay. You're in a taxi. What else? A bird is on a roof. It's on the roof. Bird is on the roof. It's on the roof. Good. My sister is at home. My sister is at home. Perfect. My brother is a playing playing in the park. Brother is playing in the park or at the park? Uh, at the park. At the park. Okay. The children yeah. are in the garden. The children are in the garden. Your flower are at the garden. Your flowers are in the garden. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Fine. Any other? Is Victor at home? Is Victor at home? Great. Any other? She's on the bus. She's on the bus. Mm -hmm. What else? If in the bank. Yes, in the bank. Okay, fine. Miss, quiero preguntarle algo. Tell me. En cuanto en en la oración, she's on the bus. Es también puede ser in. Porque va dentro del bus, o cómo mm. se entiende ahí. Sí, en este caso, en la preposición sería on, aunque sí, en realidad vamos dentro del bus, pero la manejamos como on siempre. Eh, están definidos, o sea, por ejemplo, el taxi sí se, se utiliza con in, y el uh -huh. carro, in a car, in a taxi, 
but then we say on the bus, on a plane. So we have different means of transportation for each of the colectivo is on. Eh, sí, los que son, digamos, un poco más grandes se manejan con on en general, por así decirlo, y los, mm. los transportes más pequeños serían con in. Ah, más bueno. o menos, para Thank tener you. una idea, porque en realidad no hay una regla definida para cada uno. Sí. Pero sí, van más mm. o menos así. Ok, thank you. Ok. Any other examples you can think of? Give me more sentences. Let's keep on making more. Your father is in Colombia. Your father is in Colombia. Very good. My brother, my brother is in the stadium. The stadium. My brother is in or at. In, in the stadium. Okay. So remember that for specific places, we usually use at, at the stadium, okay. right? At the stadium, at the park, at, at the bank. We normally say that unless we are inside the place. Okay. Any other? My mother-in-law goes on a ship. My mother-in-law, what was that? Goes on a ship. Goes on a ship. Okay, fine. We got plenty of examples. Okay, good. Now let's continue by talking about today's video conference. Today is our video conference number 17, as I mentioned before. And our topic is how to use there is and there are with quantifiers. Our specific objective is participants will be able to describe the location of my and others places, workplaces. And our class objective is participants will be able to use their is and their are plus quantifiers. So oh, before we get to there, can you tell me about some locations or some different places that and there are in your, in your workplaces? So for example, I, I bet that in most of the workplaces, there are offices, right? What else? The workplace, gardens. Gardens, okay. What else? Storage. Storage. Rooms. Storage rooms, uh-huh. Any others? Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Yep. What else? Court. What is that? Court. Sorry, I didn't get it. Bathroom. Bathroom. And then Susanna, sorry, I couldn't get your word. It's court. Court. Okay. Court, like the basketball court, you mean? Football court. Or football, yeah. For soccer, we say soccer field. But yeah, mm -hmm. good. Okay. Any other? Parking. What is Parking it? Lot. That? Parking lot. Any other? Library. Library. Okay. Clin clinical medical. Right, good. Playground. Playground, all right. Okay, good. So today we'll be talking a little bit about those places. So here I got a kind of map, let's say, of a, a workplace. And we got, for example, there is a supervisor's office next to my office. And also there is a cafeteria on the corner and then next to the cafeteria, there's a common area. 
there is a reception area or a lobby. And there is the manager's office. And next to it, there is a meeting room. Also, there's a conference room. And those are some of the, the places we can find in a workplace, right? Some of the locations. Then um, let's practice pronunciation. Please repeat after me. Supervisor's office. Supervisor's office. 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 My office. My office. My office. 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 Cafeteria. 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 Yeah. Meeting room. Meeting room. Meeting room. Manager's office. Manager's office. Manager's office. office. Common area. Common area. Common area. Conference room. Conference room. Reception. Reception. Okay, so those are some of the locations that are there in the in a workplace, right? Here we have some others. We already mentioned office, reception, lobby, conference room. We also have meeting rooms waiting areas, kitchen, common area, production area, sales area, IT room, IT is for technology, the technology room, outdoor space, we got training center, quality control area, cafeteria, and that's pretty much it. Okay, let's repeat them, office, Office. 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 Reception. 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 Lobby. 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 Conference room. Conference, Conference room. room. Meeting room. Meeting, Meeting room. room. Waiting area. Waiting, Waiting area. area. Kitchen. 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 Common area. Common area. area, production area, production area, sales area, sales area, IT room, IT room, IT room. outdoor space, outdoor space. space, training center, training center, quality control area. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Okay. And let's move to um to today's topic. So we're talking about there is and there are. And first, let me tell you about the use. We use there is and there are to say that something exists or it doesn't exist. And here we have how to use it. We use there is and there are. And well, there is is for singular noun. So we only use it with those things that are singular. And for example, when we say there is a cup, there's a cup. And we got another example here. Can you help me to read it, Jose Manuel? There is a pencil. Thank you. Next example. Can you read it, Dalia Ramos? Uh, there is there is an elephant in the zoo. Very good. Next one. Can you help me to read it, Susana? There is a plate. There is a plate. Okay. So as you see, they all are singular nouns. We got a cup, a pencil, an elephant, a plate. They plate. are singular nouns. And that's why we use is with them. There is. We say there is. Repeat, please. There is a cup. There is a cup. There is a pencil. There is a pencil. There is an elephant in the zoo. There is a plate. There is a plate. 
Okay, can you give me more examples of singular nouns that we use with there is? There is a frog. There's a frog. What else? There is a book. There is a book. There is a computer. There is a computer. There is a mouse. There is a mouse. There is a table. There is a table. There is a car. There is a car. There is a phone. There is a phone. There is a dwarf. Dwarf. Okay, there is a dwarf. All right, then we have there is is also used with non count nouns. So um, let me just tell you a little bit about this. Oh. So we got some nouns that can be counted, some things that can be counted. For example, whenever we talk about pencils, we can count one pencil, two pencils, 20 pencils and so on. The same happens for elephants, plates and cups. But we also have some things that we cannot count. For example, if I talk about paper, do you think we can count it? <clears throat> Can we count paper? Paper, yeah. Okay. Paper. See, yes. yeah, we can count papers. Yeah, we, we can. can count paper. Do you think okay. so? Well, we would count in any case, we would count the sheets of paper, mm. but we cannot count paper. Mm -hmm. and, rice. Okay. Rice is another example of a non count noun, right? We cannot count rice. We can weight um, it, but we cannot count it. How about water? Can we count water? No. We can't, right? So those are some examples of non-count nouns. And they are used with there is, with the structure there is. As when we say there is sugar. Help me to read the next one, Dalia and Margarita. There is money. Money, money, money. Thanks. Next one, Tony. There is water. And the other one, Cecilia. There is rice. There is rice. So those are some non count nouns sugar, money, water, rice. They cannot be counted. That's why we use there is with them. Then we have the use of there are. We use there are with plural nouns. As when we say there are 31 people in the park, there are 31 people in the park. Read the next one, Sulma. Uh, there are per dog. Thank you. Carmelina, read the next one, please. There are coins on the table. Good. Next one, let me see, Carlos. There are five lemons. Thanks. Rafael, read the next example. There are three cars. There are three cars. Okay, great. So those are some plural nouns, right? People, dogs, coins, lemons, cars. And we use those ones with there are. Now let's make some more examples using there are. Can you give me some? Think about some plural there nouns. Are four nouns. There are four there are nouns. nouns. Okay. What else? There are five pencils. There are five pencils. There are 22 players. There are 22 players. Okay. There are three dogs. Three girls. Fine. Any other? Mm 
there are three apples. There are three apples. Good. Okay. So now that we know about there is and there are in the affirmative form, let's talk about the negative. For the negative, we got there isn't and there aren't, or the full forms or the complete forms, there is not or there are not. And we also have another way of, of making negative using there is and there are, which is with the word no. So you can say there is not chocolate. There is not chocolate or there is not chocolate or there isn't chocolate. Let me write those down. You got there is not chocolate or you could also say there is not chocolate or you can say there isn't in the contracted form. There isn't chocolate. So those are the three forms that you have for the negative. You see no, not, or the contracted form isn't. Then another example of a negative sentence would be, there are no pens in my pencil case. There are no pens in my pencil case. That one is using there are. And again, we got the three different options. There are not pens in my pencil case. Or you could use the contracted form. What is the contracted form for are not? Aren't. 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 You could also say there aren't pens in my pencil case. There you go. You have the three options are no, are not, or aren't. Our next example says there isn't any chocolate. There isn't any chocolate. What would be the other forms? There is, there is no chocolate. And there is not chocolate. And the other option would be? There is not. There is not chocolate. Okay. Let me give you one more example. We got, there aren't desks in that room. There aren't desks in that room. How about the other forms for this negative? What do we say? There are not. There are not desks in that room, in that classroom. Or there are no desks in that classroom. There you go. We got aren't, are not, are no. We got another sentence, which is, there aren't chairs in the dining room. There aren't chairs in the dining room. Tell me the, the other options to state this sentence, please. They are not. There are not chairs. I in the dining room. No. Good. And the other one. They are not tired. They aren't. They are no. There are not chairs in the dining room. We got there aren't, there are not, and there are no. Then the next example says, there aren't cell phones on my table. Tell me the other options, please. There are cell phones, 
phones on my table. There are not cell phones on my table or yeah. the other one is? There are not. So there are, okay. There are no cell phones on my table. There are not cell phones on my table. That is what we have for the negative. Yeah. Now let me tell you about the questions. Here I have an example of a question. Remember that we change the order of the elements and we get the verb be at the beginning. So instead of saying there is, we are going to say, is there? Is there a TV in the living room? And the answers could be yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Then we got, is there a table in the dining room? Yes, there is, no, there isn't. Can you read the next one, Rafael? Um, are they or the window? Okay. And the answers? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Very good. Cecilia, read the next one, please. Are there any pictures? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Good. Dalia Ramos? Is there a lamp in the bathroom? Bedroom? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Carlos, thank you, Dalia. Carlos, read the next one. Are there boys in the living room? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Okay. And the other one, Carmelina? Is there a microwave in the kitchen? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Okay, good. So that's what we have for questions. We start with the verb be, is or are, then we get there, and then the complement. And for answering, we use the same structure. There is, there isn't, or there are, there aren't. And let me see what, um, also we got um, the words some and any that can we can be used with there are and there is. We use some with affirmative sentences as when we say there are some apples in the basket. There are some apples. There are some mangoes on the table. There are some mangoes on the table. Can you read the next one, Tony? There are some panels on the desk. Okay, good. And we got the word any, which is for the negative form in the questions. We use any in negative sentences and questions. As in the example, there isn't any sugar. There isn't any sugar. Sulma, can you read the next example, please? There aren't any balls to play. Thanks. Frank, read the next one, please. There aren't any curtains on the window. And then we have some questions. Is there any milk in the fridge? Is there any milk in the fridge? Susanna, read the next one, please. Is there any sugar on the table? Thank you. Dalia Margarita, can you read the next example? Are there any color pencils in that bag? Thank you. Tony, read the next one, please. Are there any boys in the classroom? Are there any boys in the classroom? Good. So that is what we have for some and any. We use some in affirmative sentences, in any in negative sentences and questions. As you see here, we say there are some, there are some, 
and there are some, right? Because we're talking about apples, mangoes, and candles in the affirmative form. Then in the negative form, we use any. There isn't any sugar, any bowls, any curtains. And for the questions, we use any as well. We say, is there any milk? Is there any sugar? Are there any color pencils? Are there any boys? Let's keep that in mind. Now, in order to practice there is and there are, we are going to make drawings of our workplaces. So I want you to make a map similar to the one that I showed you before. Let me, let me go back to that one. Here we go. So this, I want you to make a map similar to this one, something very simple, right? Just um, write about the places that you can identify in your workplace, the different locations you identify, like the offices, the meeting room, the conference room, the reception area, the playground or the classroom. It all depends on where you work, right? So you make a map of your workplace and then what you are going to do is to work in the breakout rooms together with, with a classmate. Well, we took classmates, we're doing this in trios. And I need you to describe your work, workplace using there is and there are. For example, you can say there are many offices, there is a playground, there is a meeting room, there is a reception area, for instance. So you make sentences using there is and there are describing your workplace. Is that clear? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let me send you to the breakout, breakout rooms. So you work in, well, it be pairs or trios. You make the map of your workplace, you draw it first. And then you start sharing. There is, there are. And then we come back and share a little bit as a class. So here you go. Yo tengo mucho sueño. Basta. <risa> ya estaba hasta pensando en salirme, se los prometo. <risa> Ay, sí. sí. Ya lo voy a es que me estoy durmiendo. Ah, de salirse de la clase ahorita. Sí. Oh. Estoy bien cansada. Así ando yo. Ay, no. Es que a la hora que venía, había un gran tráfico. Ah, yo ahora sí, tuve un día tan... Eso cansa, ah. eso cansa. Sí. Después del trabajo, hacer mandados y venir en ese gran tráfico. Ay. Imagino que el estrés está más que todo por el tráfico. Venir sí. en esa espera, el calor. Ah, sí. yo por todo. Porque ayer fue día de pago, pagaron tarde. Ay, ahora todo el mundo reclamando. Ay, es un lío. Sí, es cierto. Ok. Eh. Oh, por aquí está. Hi, Miss. Hey. Ya oyó que me iba a salir. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. <laughs> no, it's okay. I understand you're tired. Yeah. It's sí. it's very hard. I mean, the, the schedule is kind of hard, but we keep on doing the effort and we learn. So, so that's a good thing, right? Okay. But don't worry about it, Dalia. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Teacher. It's fine. Don't worry. 
Okay, so maybe you can start making your drawings of your workplaces and then you describe them using their is and their are. ¿Qué están escribiendo? Yo digo, ¿qué están escribiendo? Nada. Esperando que mande algo. Um, no, I'm not going to send anything. Ah. You have to make your drawings. Tienen que hacer un dibujo de, de su workplace, así como un pequeño mapa, más o menos como el que yo les mostré. Mm. Sí, de cómo están ubicados sí. los... Ajá, uh -huh, de cómo están ubicados los... Um, los different rooms or locations in your workplace. For oh, example, okay. uh, yeah, like the office, the supervisor's office, the cafeteria, and I mean, the places you okay. can identify in your workplace. And your work, workplace, goodness, I can. Lo que está adentro del trabajo, no lo que está fuera. Mm -hmm. No, in your workplace. That will be in. Okay. So make your maps and then you share. Um, um, y en el caso de... <coughs> um, así como en el edificio que yo soy, conozco unas áreas, no todas. Okay, that's fine. Tell us with what you know. For example, my resources. Pero, y en el caso, y tendría que, ser, tendría que poner este, como por ejemplo, eh, la cafetería que está en el nivel 3, creo. If you Tengo want, por... I mean, you decide. Eh, sí, puede hacer el mapa como usted quiera, incluir los lugares que, que quiera y, I mean. O escoja un espacio donde usted esté y qué es lo que hay en ese espacio, por Ay, si es muy grande. El problema es... Uh, sí. Bueno. Because also if there are different floors, you can say on the first floor there is a cafeteria, there are some... What? Well, there's... Uh, there is a reception area, there is a waiting room, um, I mean, and then you go like on the second floor, there are some offices, on the third floor, there is the, a storage room, um, I mean, you describe um, floor by floor. Okay.
For example, uh, Miss. Yes. No, I'm here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> For example, um, and level two and three is um, area the parking. In the parking area. Yes. Well, what it is? Yes. Okay. What is more? ¿En qué momento lo vamos a compartir? Eso no lo entendí. No, now you share with your classmates, with Susana and Tony. Ah, ok. En Fritz en I. ¿En you? Yeah. Ok. Ok. Eh, reception. Eh, seller. The office manager of Dalia, sorry. Yes, uh -huh. yes, there is and there are. There ah, is okay. a reception. There is okay. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, okay. There is a reception. There is a seller. Uh, there is the office manager operator. Yes, uh... There are, no, there is a human resource. Sería, ¿va? Mm -hmm. Sí. Teacher, help me. Hi. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And then uh, there are uh, six words, uh, space and there are a uh, marketing uh, quiero ver cómo se dice desarrollo no desarrollo está al otro lado marketing no, sería. Ahí sería marketing. Marketing en comercialización, comercial, comercialization. <laughs> Let me check that for you. Teacher, quiero decir que aquí están las personas de marketing y algunas de comercialización. There is. Mm, yeah, that's the word commercialization or merchandising. Merchandising. Marketing, no, no se dice yes. así. Marketing is fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Marketing, mercadeo. Or, yeah, that's how you say it, right? In commercialization. Ya ven que estaba bien. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> And then the office manager. Manager, ¿qué sería? Of country, and then uh, there is a, ¿cómo se dice? Desarrollo. Development. 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 And then there is a, 
mini meeting rooms. Mm -hmm. There are two mini rooms. Then one y two. <laughs> Estoy bien así, teacher. Oh. Yes, very well. Okay. You did great. <laughs> Encontramos esta. <laughs> Ahí nos ahorramos el dibujo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> so, have you all participated? Mm, okay. Ceci o Rafa. Oh. So, Cecilia and Carmelina, you work together, right? At the same place. Oh, okay. Yes. So maybe Rafa can tell you about the about his workplace. Ya, ya conoció la mis donde estamos todos ahí. Yes, I know. <laughs> Carmelina, Ceci, Dalia. Y Jose Campo. <laughs> oh, okay. Very nice. Hello. Okay. Bueno, dejo de compartir entonces y nos va a enseñar Rafa. Rafael. Rafa es el elegido. Uh -huh. Vamos a decir, there isn't, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. There isn't a nurse, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Sí. sí. Mm. Eso me cuesta a mí las negaciones. There mm -hmm. isn't. Mm -hmm. Eso me, me cuesta con... La, las negaciones realmente es lo que más me cuesta en todos los... Lo que hemos visto cuando es de negación, eh, me trauma. Mm, sí, sí, las con, contracciones, contracciones. Ajá, las contracciones. Uh -huh. eh, poco a poco, ¿no? se, se va acostumbrando. Sí. Ah, sí, pero sí siento que me costaba. Y cuando estaba en <risa> nah. la escuela me costaba tan como voy. <risa> sí, es que aquí como es intensiva, nos llevan un uh -huh. poquito más rápido. Sí, más rápido, sí. Y hay mucho vocabulario que no aún no lo, lo desconozco. ¿ves? Sí. Sí. Ah, sí, pero aquí falta todavía. Sí, pero yo siento que usted sí maneja bastante vocabulario y puede formular rápido las... Después, para allá más arriba, es que empezaron a hacer panes. Ya... Interesante. Sí. Mira, y la sí. teacher ya te vio hablando de panes. Te, te, Ajá, te, 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 en vez de repa, en vez de repasar la clase, este José Manuel va a quedar. Me preguntaste, ¿no? Ah. Oh, no, pero ya avanzamos, ya repasamos. Ya repasamos, ya repasamos. You did. Ok, good. Yeah, we're getting back to the main room. We got more work to do, so. Let's get back okay. to the main room and I'll see you in just a minute. Okay. Teacher, ¿puedo utilizar mi frase o todavía no? O hasta en la próxima. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... The microphone. The microphone, teacher. Yeah. I got it. So you need yeah. more time, Tony. <laughs> more time, please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to continue working in the breakout rooms because now we got some grid and practice. Let me show you what it is. Okay, so we got exercise A, grider is or there are. Here you check the phrases. A bag on the table. Do we say there is or there are? There is. There is a bag on the table. Okay, so you write here in the corresponding, in the corresponding space. And then in exercise B, you have to change the sentences in the previous exercise to the negative form. So we got there is a bag on the table. Then you change it to there isn't a bag on the table. There is no bag on the table or there is not a bag on the table. 
Then in exercise C, you have to complete the sentences using their isn't or their aren't. And our next exercise D, it's completing the sentences using is there or are there. Those are questions. And in the next one, you got to choose between, well, among, there is, there are, is there, are there, there isn't, and there aren't. Exercise F is reading. You have a very short reading. And then you got some questions to answer. And in our next exercise, you have to choose the correct answer. Here you have some different options. You just choose one. And that's pretty much it. So let me send you back to the breakout rooms. So you work in different groups and I'll send the, and they, I'll send the practice to the WhatsApp group as I always do. And let me see. So here we go. See you in a moment. Mm, no puedo. ¿Qué más? Cecilia, no. Sí, sí, yo lo puedo ir. Voy a estar en cuenta. Veamos si puedo. Déjenme ver. No sale, pero no. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver qué sale. ¿Quién, nos va? ¿Quién dijo que nos iba a dar copia? Frank, ¿verdad? Sí, Frank nos va a hacer. Ah, Ajá, todos nos vamos Gracias, a dar Frank. copia. Sí, es bastante. Va. Se logra yes. ver. Ah, sí. Bueno, Eso bueno. Muy va. <ríe> ok. Empezamos. Vamos haciendo sí. una por una, una cada una. uno, para cada que haya dinámica entre todos. Va. Va. La damos primero. Así que Cecilia primero. Oh, okay, pues, there is. There is, there is a bag on the table. Mm -hmm. yes. Y la traducción, digamos, la, vamos yeah. diciendo la traducción también para. Ok, sería. Es. Ay. Ay, 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 que te duele. No, es la traducción. <ríe> Hay una bolsa en la mesa. Ajá. Sí. Un bolso. Sobre, ajá, sobre ajá, la mesa. Exacto, sobre exacto. la mesa, ajá. Vale, la dos es... Susana, there me is, toca. There is a calendar on the wall. Hay un, hay un calendario en la pared. Ajá. Ah, yo. There are two posters in my room. There are. are posters. Hay dos posters en mi habitación. 
Hay dos niñas ahí hablando por ahí. ¿Póster de qué? Póster son de, de, de lo que sea, de, de decorativos. Ah, bueno. Me toca. Te toca, Carlos. There is a acá. banana in this basket. Hay una banana en ese basurero. Um, basket. Es canasta, 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 canasta. Como canasta. Canasta, 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 canasta ¿eh? Esta, uh -huh. perdón. Uh -huh. okay, ok, la siguiente sería There are six chairs in the kitchen. Hay seis sillas en la cocina. Okay. Next. Las seis es There are lots of books on the shelf. Hay mm. lots que es un montón. Un montón. Oh, uh -huh, un montón Hay un montón de libros. de libros en la librera. Sí, ¿verdad? Okay. There is a mirror in our hall. Hay un espejo en el hall, es como un salón, ¿verdad? Sí, uh -huh. pasillo. en nuestro salón. Pasillo. Sí. Pasillo. Okay. Ah, un pasillo. Carlos. Eh, there are eh, 12 cushions oh. on the sofa. Ah, cushion. What is the Cogines. meaning? Cojines. Cojines. Cojines, ah, okay. Cogines, ¿verdad? Yeah. Hay 12 cojines en el sofá. Cushions. Okay. Cushions. My next sería the there is mm -hmm. a big gar wardrobe in my sister bedroom. Wardrobe. Eh, What is the guardarropas or closet. Ah, closet. Hay un gran closet en el cuarto de mi hermana. Mm -hmm. okay. La 10 es There are children in the yard. Hay niños en I... el jardín. Mm -hmm. Patio. No, pat ah, patio. En el patio. patio. Oh, en el patio. Okay, next exercise B. Next. Change the sentence in the previous uh -huh. exercise to negative. Este hay que hacer la... Okay, ¿quién iba con la primera? Hay que right. hacer las negativas. Ah, bueno, a mí me toca, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. there, sí. there is send a bag on the table. There is send. Okay. There is send a bag on the table. Yo creo que para que no le cueste escribir, mejor, como ya hicimos este ejercicio, solo es repetir, o sea, las negativas, mejor solo es speaking. Yo estoy okay. de acuerdo, más. Ah. Sí, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. No, no me alcanza el tiempo. Va. Sí, también. Es muy poco tiempo toque. para mí. Carlos. There, there is isn't a calendar okay. of the world. There isn't okay. a calendar of the world. Uh -huh. Ok. Next sería, there, there aren't two posters in my, in my room. Mm -hmm. there, is an, there is an a banana in this basket. Frank? There aren't six chairs in the kitchen. There aren't lots of books on the shelf. Okay. There isn't a mirror in our, in our hall. There aren't 12 Pushings on the sofa. There is no a big wardrobe in my sister's bedroom. Carlos. Carlos. They are in children in the yard. Okay. Bueno, la B terminada, vamos a la C. ¿eh? Yes. yes. Exercise C. Complete the sentences using the reason or the right. Ah, yes. Okay. Sería. ¿Y quién le toca? Cecilia. Sí. There aren't many people in the streets. Traducción. Yes. Eh, no hay ninguna persona en, la, en las calles. Mm -hmm. Exacto, Susana. 
there there isn't any butter in qué dice in the in that, in the, in the the French. The, the French. No. there isn't any butter no hay mantequilla Eva. sí en el en el refrigerador en la refrigeradora en la nevera the six is are is any soccer there is are there is there is there is there, is there, is there, is there mm -hmm. the thing la, la, la six y está algún que está de cooperativa is there is there read the sentence in question Sería, there aren't, there aren't many people. No, la uno de la uno. There is a bar. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Mm -hmm. Perdón, me había, me adelanté el ejercicio. Estaba, haciendo, estaba viendo el ejercicio del C. Yo también. ¿Verdad que sí? Mm -hmm. Sí, yo también. Me había equivocado. Ok. Solo permítame. There is no bag on the table. Vamos a ver. Vale, comienzo a decir. La uno sería, there is not a bag on the table. There is not. Mm -hmm. Repítala, Dalia, por favor. There is not a bag, uh -huh. a bag on the table. Correcto. Entonces me imagino que la, la segunda sería There is not. Mm -hmm. There is not a calendar on the world. Sí. La número tres sería There aren't two posters in my room. All right. Dalia. Sí. Ahora va usted la cuatro. Sería There is no There isn't a banana in this basket. Ok. Tony. Sería There aren't six chairs in the kitchen. Sí. Eh, number six There aren't Lost of books on this shelf. Mm -hmm. La siete, Number there seven. Is, there is not a mirror in our hall. Mm -hmm. Tony? Ocho, ¿verdad? Sí. So we are the R and 12 questions. No, they know. The there, mm -hmm. perdón. There are. 12 question of the sofa. Mm -hmm. There isn't a big bathroom in my sister's bedroom. Mm -hmm. Y la diez. There aren't, there aren't children in the yard. There aren't children in the yard. Básicamente, aquí no fue tan complicada la situación. Mm -hmm. Vamos con el C. Exercise C completo la siguiente utilizando the series and other are ahí es donde yo hacía mención el número uno que era de there aren't like uh -huh. mm -hmm. no, si me equivoco mm -hmm. sí mm -hmm. 
Other. ¿Cómo? Sí, era de Allen. El primero. Sí. Ah, el primero. Hello. The sí. errand. There are uh -huh. many people in the streets. Yeah. The errand. Con el dos sería. There isn't. So. Isn't any butter in the fridge. Creo que me quedé, lo siento. Repeat, no problem. Number one. There aren't there many aren't, people. There aren't many people in the streets. Uh -huh. La dos. There, there is isn't. There, there, there isn't. isn't. Mm -hmm. Any butter. Butter. Butter in the fridge. Right. Sí, es verdad. La tres, there en is. Hmm? The reason. Mm -hmm. Ah, sí, any, any, sí, the reason, any plates on the table. On the table. The the number one, four. The reason, any milk. No, there is no. No? Um, sorry, go back to the one of the plates. What did you say? Isn't? Isn't, but plates is plural. Mm, even though we say any. Yes, it doesn't matter. We okay. can use any and some with both. There is and there are. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Pues sería la número tres sería there are, aren't, aren't. Okay, thank you. Number three, number four. Ahora la number uh, four. There isn't any milk in the bottle. Ajá. Aunque allí sería there are, there aren't, porque milk is non-count. Ah, uh, como, ajá, uh -huh. sí. Remember you use there is with non-count. Okay. Uh, there uh, is is for singular and non-count. Sí. And R is for plurals. Okay. Ah. I will say there isn't. Uh, the next, number five. There isn't. No sería lo mismo ahorita con esto de la leche, Dalia, mm -hmm. que el coffee is incountable. Entonces uh -huh. sería there aren't. No, sería there isn't. Yo me había equivocado. Era al revés. En la primera es there is, en la cuatro es there is. Ajá. Entonces yes. en la cinco también. Uh -huh. oh, sí. oh, ya me había confundido. Uh -huh. Sí, yo me, también me confundí. Sorry. Perdón, tenía apagado el micrófono. <ríe> me sentí hablando yo solito. Ah, ok. Jefa, hazme caso, por favor. Nice. Dale. No, no, no. Que ahora yo eh, les decía que oh, eh, yo quedé confundido ahora. Para los singulares y non count, no contables. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, eh, there is. Por ejemplo, the milk plates. The milk. Uh -huh. no, milk y coffee serían. There is. La 4 y 5. Mm. Mm. Ok. Ajá, en el 3, porque está en plural, ahí sí, there are. There are. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. ¿Estamos? Exercise. Exercise yes. D. Complete the sentence. Complete the sentences you think is there, is there or are there. there. Vamos a ver, la 1 sería, is there any, is sí. there any other? Mm -hmm. Is there an opera on oh, no sé qué. Is there an opera in our city? Mm -hmm. Many girls in the your class. Are there many girls? Mm -hmm. Are there? Are there... 
Other managers in the close. The is there a police station? Yes. Sí, is there. there. La cuatro. Are there any banana? Y la cinco. Are there. Are there trees in the park? Are there strips in the park? Vamos okay. a ver. Vamos con el exercise. Sí, con son los berries. There are. Is there, are there. There isn't. There aren't. Ok, esto sí ya lo veo más complicado. Sí, pero aquí está más claro. <coughs> There is someone Hola, looking okay. for me, looking at me. There is. Ahora el número dos. Ya estuvo la número uno. Sí. No there sé, is. No, no there atención. is someone looking at me. There is. Okay. Any boys in the are there? Are there? Mm -hmm. there, there, there are. There are some photos in her bag. ¿Me está sonando a mí o a usted? Um, ¿A usted? ¿Por qué a mí? No, a mí no. Ah, bueno, está por la dicha. No, no, that's not me. Ah, sí, es por mí, sorry. Ok. <risa> sí, es que... Chale, bueno. Bueno. Asunto interno de la casa. <risa> is, la tercera sería, is there some forms in her bag? Photos. No. There are oh. some photos. There are. Ah, photos. Uh-huh. Yes. There are. Cuatro sería. There are. There are. Yes. Cinco. Si estoy prestando atención, que quede claro. Yes. There is. <laughs> magazine in her room. There is or there isn't. Ah, any. Because, yes, we're using any. Yeah. And in the, pre in the previous one as well. Oh. Yeah. There aren't. La cuatro sería there aren't. There aren't? Mm -hmm. Es negativa por el any. Any. Explíqueme la porfa. A los dos. Me. <laughs> or yes, I'm here. <laughs> so remember that we use any for negatives and also for questions. So yeah. that is the the sign, right? The indicator over there. Any okay. is only for negative sentences and questions, and some is for affirmative sentences. Okay. Any solo se utiliza con negativo y preguntas. Okay. El SOM es para las preguntas afirmativas. Perdón, oraciones afirmativas. Okay. Entonces la número 6 quedaría The Reason también. Number 6. There isn't any soccer stadium. Uh -huh. But that is a question. Is there any? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is La says is there, Tony, because it's a question. Es una pregunta. The oh. question mark at the end. There is. Okay. Entonces quedamos la tres. There are. La cuatro. There aren't. Any. Sí. 
la 5, There Isn't uh -huh. Any Magazine, y la 6, Is There Any Song. Ok. Mm. Ahora vamos con la F. Uh. Vamos con la F. Read the sentences and answer the questions. In Rita's kitchen, there are 12 cupboards, five plates, six spoons, and two cups of tea. In Kim's room, uh, there are Gran two suspiro, ¿qué hace? glass. ¿Mm? Gran suspiro. <laughs> In Kim's room, there are two dolls, a glass of milk, three magazines, five shirts, and four shirts. X. Are there any magazines in Kim's room? Yes, there are three magazines. Okay. Shirts in Kim's room. Are there any shirts in Kim's room? Shirts. Yes, there are. There are five shirts. Yes. There are five shirts. Estamos con la uno. Sí, no, no, sí. Y para mí. Ay, es que ya me quedé. Yo me qued no, yo igual. Pero ahí voy. Ay, que sí, me estoy durmiendo, perdón. Sí, ahorita también. Bueno, estoy... read the sentence and answer the question. Uh -huh. A, in Rita's kitchen, there are 12 cupboards, five plates, six sop. Híjole, esto es como una venta de comida, ¿ok? Maybe. <laughs> Vaya, la número uno. Are there, are there any shirts? Shirts. Kimmy's room? Yes, there are five shirts. Jays. Jays. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dios mío. Yes, there are. Yes. There are shirts in Kim rooms. Kim. Number two. Uh, are there any cupboards on Rita's kitchens? Yes, there, uh, there are. There are cupboards in Rita's kitchens. Yes. Is yeah. there a glass? Of where in Kim's room? No, there is not. Are there any skirts in Kim's room? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Yes. Uh huh. Number five. Five. Are there any plates? Rita's kitchen. Yes. There are. Yes, there are. Six. Number six. Ay, qué bien es la última. Mm -hmm. Are there any? Ay, perdón. Are there any forks in Rita's kitchen? Uh, Miss, no, they yes. are one moment. Okay, I'll notice or notice, but I don't know. Mm. Tengo una mala noticia que dar por acá. Oh, uh, okay, don't worry. Thanks. Yes, don't worry. Take your Thank time. You. Thank you. No entendí. Eh, algo le pasó, no sé. Oh. Uh -huh. 
yo creí que iba a decir algo. Y me quedo esperando yo el chambre y no pasó nada. Ok. Dale, come on. Caí bien atenta, sin sueño yo. Bueno, aprovechando que ya se despertó, así ya no ¿En cuál íbamos? Exercise G. G. Chose the correct, no, chose the correct answer. But there, ah, uh -huh. people different. Mm -hmm. There are some people in the restaurant. Yes. Okay. Number two. There. There is some. There is some. No. There is some information. Porque uh -huh. son solo para positivo. Ajá, por eso. There is some. Ajá. Okay, okay. is some. escuché. No, there is some. Yes. Okay. There, there is some money on the table. Sí. Cuatro. Eh, cheese is the sandwich. Three questions. Is there a cheese in the sandwich? No. Si hay algún queso, sería. <coughs> is there any? Is there... Yes, we say any because cheese is not count. Ah, uh -huh. Okay. Is there any cheese in this sandwich? Yes. Yes. Their cheese? Yes, there. Yes, there are. Solo cheese. Solo cheese. Oh. Is, is, is it okay, Tony? ¿Cómo? Are you okay? Todo está bien. Todo bien. Uh, más o menos. Okay. Hay una ah. persona cercana a nosotros que ha fallecido y ahorita me acabo de enterar. Ah, ok. Lo siento. Sorry. Después veo eso. Ya casi terminamos acá. Ok. Eh, ¿Dónde van o cómo van? Por la 5 de la G. No sé. Ok, ¿qué estamos haciendo acá? Vamos, seleccionamos una de tres. Ah. Según la oración. Lo que puede ser la, la, la respuesta. Uh -huh. La cinco sería yes, there are. Ok. Aunque también puede ser yes, there is. ¿En what number? Depende del, depende del contexto. Five. Number five. Number five, mm, yes, so it refers to the cheese. So it would be like an answer for the last question, the previous question. Yes, there are cheese. Are there any cheese? Yes. There are. Mm, do we say there is or there are with cheese? Cheese is not count. No, oh, there is. Mm. There is, uh-huh. Number six. There's a letter. The number says there's a letter for you. Seven. Are there any customers in the shop? Yes. Okay. Are they in? Just, uh, ocho. 
No. No. There, there are any. any. Sería, no, there aren't, there are not. Uh -huh. There aren't. Ah, y ahí está esa opción. Ah, oh, sí. Nine. There are no students in the classroom. There are no y nadie there is is a petrol in, in the car. No, so petrol yeah, there, no. is not count. It's not count. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is, aren't. No. There is no, mm -hmm. perdón. There is no. Uh -huh. There is no. Petrol. Okay. Finish. Yay. Very good. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome back everybody. How was the practice? Was it easy, difficult? So, so, how was it? So, so, in a so, so. So, so, okay. So, we may have some questions. Um, tell me, do you have any doubts? I confuse in... And the use in any. Any and some. Any and some. Okay, so remember that any is for negatives and questions. Any is just for negative sentences and questions. So negatives, for example, there isn't any milk in the fridge. Or there aren't any grapes in that bag. You see here we use any because we are making negative sentences. Then we also have any in questions. That's when we ask, is there um, a meeting room at your workplace? Is there, oh, I use I ah, instead of any. Is there any meeting room at your workplace? Go so here. You got any because it's a question. Or we could also say, um, let's make a question with R. Are there any students? At, at the school, are there any students? And then we get to some. Some is used for affirmative sentences. Ask when we say there are some bananas on the table, or there is some milk. Oh, let's change it because we already used milk, some use, some use in, in that bottle. And there you go, we got some in affirmative and for negative in questions, we use any. Is it clear now? A little bit? What do you say? 
¿Qué me dicen? Eh, ¿Les queda un poquito más claro? Do we need more practice? Or... Sí, sí. Más claro. Más claro. Ok, fine. All right. And then, do you have any questions about any of the exercises we were doing? No sé si tenemos consultas sobre los ejercicios que estábamos haciendo. ¿Alguno que no les haya quedado claro? Teníamos, bueno, teníamos duda en cuanto donde decía del dinero. Ah, ok. Si había dinero, no hayamos que poner este... Ahí tenía un poquito de confusión. Ok. So, money is non-count. You should use it with there is. And let me find it. Where? No. No, no, no. Girls and bananas, trees. No, creo que está más abajo. And the uh, exercise G. Exercise G. Here. Number three. Yeah, this one. So, which one do you choose? There is a, there is any, or there is some? What do you say? Some. Yes. In this one, we should say there is some. We cannot say there is a because money cannot be counted. It's non count. No podemos decir there is a porque sería como decir hay un dinero. And, uh -huh. Well, es algo que de pronto decimos en español o escuchamos por ahí, pero no está correcto, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we do not say it. And then if we say there is some money, hay algo de dinero on the table. Like, uh -huh. sí. uh -huh. That's what it means. Sí, sí. Any other questions? Sí. Luego, um, sí, algo que debemos tener en cuenta es que para los no contables utilizamos is, siempre. Siempre. Recordemos que el are es solamente para los plurales y nombres plurales solamente son los contables. Los count. Any other doubts? Any other questions? No more? Okay, so we're ready to work on our manuals for the last five minutes. And um, let's go to page number 41, everybody. Go to page number 41. And we are going to read the conversation first. Do I have two volunteers to read the conversation? Yep. Okay, Selma and Jose Manuel. Okay. Okay, good. So Jose, you start. Okay. Hello. Can you help me? What is Melbourne building? I don't know here. Don't worry. There are four buildings which, which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on May Street. I know. It is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you sometime else in here at training center. There are a lot of training centers on the building between my and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, very well. Thanks for reading, Jose and Sulma. Now everybody repeat, building. 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 And let me see. I think that's pretty much it. Um, something. Repeat. Something. 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 Training center. Training, training, training center. center. Building. 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 Interviews. 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 Again. 
Again. Again. Again. Again. Again. Again. Okay. Good. Let me get another pair to read the conversation, please. Any volunteers? And I? I Frank. And Frank. Okay, Frank, go ahead. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on the main street. On main street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Center. There are a lot of training centers on the building with be uh, between uh, between between sorry between main and um, Teen Street. I I have some in, uh, I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye. Mm, very well. Thanks, Dalia and Frank. Now everybody repeat once again. Building. 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 Buildings. Building. Buildings. Building. Buildings. 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 Training center. Training, Training center. center. Between. 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 Interviews. Interviews. Again, 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 again. There's no e. There's no e. Again, 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 again. Good. Okay. Now that we have read the conversation, let's answer the questions. We got only three questions. We have just one minute to solve them. So how about we do it together? How many Melbourne buildings are there? How many? There are there are many Melbourne buildings. How many? Four. There are four. Yes, it says there are four Melbourne four. buildings. Oh, four. Yeah. Okay. Question number two says, "Where is the building where Will wants to go located?" Where is it? Oh. Where is the building? Where? Let's check the conversation to find the answer. It's Melbourne. Yes, but it mentions, oh, I lost it. Wait. So it says there are four, which one do you need? Then what's the answer to the second question? It's the one on Main Street. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. That's the one. The one on Main Street, the building on Main Street. Mm, Main Street. Yep, that will be the one Will is looking for. And the number question number three is how many training centers are there? How many? There are a lot. There are a lot. Where are they? Where are they? Between Main and King Street. Very good. Those are the answers. Okay, perfect. So that will be all for today's class. Remember that our corresponding assignment is homework number 17. So please everybody keep on working in the platform. Remember to complete your exercises because we are finishing our course on Friday. So we must be done by Friday. Okay, so that's all. Okay. Thanks everybody for your attention and participation. Take care and have a good night. Good night, good night. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you, everybody. Bye.